Voice five days on testosterone. This is my voice nine days away from being six months on testosterone. All right, so as usual, it's uh, me, Drew. Uh, I haven't done an update in a really long time, so thought maybe it might be about time to do that. Um, so, <laughs> a few changes. Obviously, I uh, have no hair. Amber and I decided to buzz it all off one night. Um, so, it's been shocking every time I look in the mirror. I don't recognize myself. Um, but, very easy to deal with, so I'm into it. Uh, yeah. Uh, it took some getting used to. Um, let's see what else. Obviously, my, my voice is getting deeper. Uh, I don't know how much longer that'll be happening for, but it's still happening, so. Um, I have been gaining weight back, uh, since surgery, finally. Good news is, uh, in the news department, I did get released, um, from my hysterectomy. So, I am finally released to do some exercises and get back on track with that. So, hopefully I will be bulking up just a little bit more. Um, we'll see about that. Uh, <clears throat> my chest region has been shrinking. It's getting a lot smaller, which is awesome that it's doing that on its own. Uh, I feel like that's going to make uh, top surgery a lot easier. Um, I am getting more body hair, but it's mostly just my legs, uh, my armpits, um, my eyebrows, <laughs> uh, a little bit of facial hair, um, starting to get a little mustache kind of thing coming in, and then I think, like, the chin strap is gonna be the first thing that happens, so super not cute, so I shave that all off, like, at least once or twice a week, um, so today's actually a really exciting day for me. I uh, got my name change and my gender change done officially. I have it done through Social Security and through the DMV in Denver. Um, I have my temporary license. I already changed everything with the bank. Uh, so just working on a few little things like have to uh, do insurance and stuff like that um and student loans uh but yeah uh so it's official i am now andrew grayson so that's my name officially so um a lot of people have been finding it i think a little bit easier to get my pronouns and my name uh, straight, and I think that that's probably just got to do with being around me more, uh, so consistently, um, practicing it, and also, like, I, it's changed, I'm, I'm, you know, things are changing, so I think it's a little easier to identify me, um, with, with those pronouns and that name. Um, that said, I am going to be seeing my family for the first time in September, a little mini family reunion which is gonna be awesome I can't wait to see them um but uh no pressure for anybody who is still not getting my pronouns down or anything like that um you know unless you see me on a daily basis uh I feel like it would be really hard um so I'm not gonna be a stickler about that um but anyways uh, the fact that people are trying, it means a lot to me. Um, I've been feeling a lot more emotionally stable, and I think that that's got a lot to do with um, the hysterectomy uh, and also just my testosterone levels being pretty perfect, I think. So um, been, I've been feeling emotionally pretty great. Um, you know, I... I'm still being gendered female, even with this Sinead O'Connor haircut, uh, <laughs> but um, I'm getting more and more sirs, and uh, that's awesome, so um, I still can't really play it off when it happens, I just get so freaking excited. Um, at my work the other day, I had a, a 
participant who through our whole interaction called me sir without any prompting or anything and um I thought that was great because that was the first time that somebody's called me sir and not immediately recognize that maybe that is not the correct pronoun and tried to correct themselves so baby steps are happening and that makes me super happy um so yeah that's about it in the news department you know i've just been um working on working with a few friends on trying to do a fundraiser um hoping that will come to fruition we'll come up with something um whether it's uh kind of an outdoor music thing or if it's a barbecue uh, at my house even um i'm gonna come up with something uh just so that you know everybody can gather um and i don't know uh, if I can raise a little bit of money for my top surgery, that'd be awesome. Um, otherwise, social things are great too. So, um, let's see. Uh, I'm not nervous to see the family at all. They've all been so supportive. Um, they're amazing. I just love them all so much. Uh, I got to see my cousin Leah recently, and that was awesome. She and her fiance Adam were out here in uh colorado so i got to hang out with them and that was great um i just miss my family a lot so uh really excited for september um to happen uh let's see transition wise um i've been feeling a little bit of dysphoria when it comes to downtown stuff uh if you get my drift um i think the more that uh i feel like and start to present like a male uh the more that having these parts that don't really align with that is kind of throwing off my psyche i think um so and i wasn't really expecting that to be a thing uh like chest wise of course yeah um i mean that's been a thing my whole life but um yeah so i sorry to be kind of vague and whatever cryptic but i don't want to get too detailed i guess um but yeah if anybody has any questions you're always free to ask me nobody ever does but you're always free to ask me um i just try to keep things pg on here uh because my family watches these videos thanks guys love you <laughs> um but yeah anyways I, I hadn't done a video in a while and you know um I fit most of the points that I wanted to hit but I just wanted to kind of update you guys um let you see the changes uh there's still some changes happening in the facial region um especially uh my jaw is still like I don't know, squaring off or something. I don't know. My chin's doing something. My eyes are doing things. My nose is definitely getting bigger and crooked. It's <laughs> weird. Um, but I don't know. That's just part of it. I just, I hope it doesn't get too, too big, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> what kind of, what kind of man I turn into, but it's all part of the process and I've been loving every second of it. My coworkers again have been just like, effing amazing they are some of the best humans um just so supportive they get my name down almost every time they get my pronouns down almost every time and they correct themselves really politely when they don't um and they feel worse about it than i do so uh yeah they they've been amazing um it's made this process a lot easier and you know i'm around them all day every day and so being able to vent it out and stuff um, Amber and I are doing amazing. Um, we're, uh, still living in this awesome little house. We, um, have been talking about, uh, extending our lease. So we will probably be doing that. Um, and possibly someday down the road, moving to Portland. So, uh, won't be probably for a couple of years or so, but anyways, uh, life is going awesome. Those are all the updates that I have for you guys. Um, yeah, just really super excited that the name change and gender change are official. 
I think that's really going to help with my comfort level in public because I am getting served a lot more by like bar staff and stuff like that. But then I have to show my ID and then they feel bad and correct themselves because they see that it says female. So um, I'm hoping that this is going to make a few positive changes for me. So we'll see. Um, but either way, it's making me feel a lot less stressed out. Um, my plane tickets for September are in my new male name, so that's awesome. Um, so yeah, just exciting things happening. Um, just officially becoming the person that I have felt like for a really long time. And it's just been a surreal experience. Both frustrating and exciting and, you know, all the emotions. I've been feeling them all, but... Um, today is a really great day. Um, I am officially Andrew Grayson. I'm officially a male. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't be happier. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, thanks for watching the videos. Um, thanks for continuing to donate to the GoFundMe. Uh, it has been a lot of activity on there, but like, I also have not been very active. Sorry, that's the cat Nova. Here's the dog Nova. All the Novas are in the house. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for your support, for loving on me, for just being the great humans that you all are and letting me be the human that I am and uh, just loving me and supporting me through it. Thank you so much um, for watching the videos again. I appreciate that too. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.